Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we talked about privileged identity management. We discussed what is privileged identity management, what you can achieve with this feature, and what are the license requirements for using privileged identity management. In this particular video, we will discuss how to configure and set up privileged identity management. We will discuss how to assign roles to the end users, how an end user activates the role, how an approver approves or rejects the role activation request, and how an end user can ask for an extension when the role assignment is expired. To manage privileged identity management console, you will go to Azure Active Directory and under all services here you can search for privileged identity management click on this and this will open privileged identity management console on this particular browser i'm logged in with global administrator account and who is part of privileged role administrator group and on firefox i'm logged in with john smith who is an end user so i will show you how an administrator can configure role settings then I'll show you how an administrator will assign roles and then I'll show you how an end user will activate the role. So before you assign any role, you need to make certain changes in the role settings. So within privileged identity management console, click on Azure AD roles and then click settings. Now here you will see a list of roles that you can assign using privileged identity management. Now let's say you want to assign a particular role password administrator. So click on the role and then click edit. Now these are the settings for password administrator role. Now remember one thing every single role under settings of Azure AD roles every single role will have different settings. So if you want to make changes on these particular roles you will have to do it one by one. For example, if you make any change in security reader, that change will not reflect in other role. So let's say we are going to assign security reader role to particular users. So the first option that you can see here is activation maximum duration hours. This value is in hours. This value indicates the duration of role assignment. Once this duration is passed, the user will lose access to this role automatically. Next option is on activation require. If your requirement is whenever a user will activate the role, he should be prompted for multi-factor authentication. So from here, you can select Azure MFA. If you do not want your users to be prompted for multi-factor authentication, you can simply click on none. So let me click on Azure MFA so that I can show you how it works. Next is required justification on activation. If you want that users should enter a business justification while activating the role, you can enable this option by checking this box. And when the user will try to activate the role, he will have to enter a business justification. The next option is required ticket information on activation. You can use this option if you are using a ticketing system in your organization to generate a ticket that will be required while activating the role. And the next option is require approval to activate. If you want to add an approver who is going to approve or deny the request for role activation, you can check this option, you can check this box, and then you can add the approver. For example, you can add the global administrator account. Now let's say you do not add any approver here, but you select this option, you check this option, and you do not add any approver. So in that case, by default, the global administrator and the privileged role administrator will become the approver. So for now, I will not check this option. I'll show you how administrators can approve the request later. Click on next assignment. Next tab is assignment. Under assignment, you can manage the eligible assignments and active assignments. Eligible assignments are the roles. Those are managed by privileged identity management. That is also called just-in-time role assignment. And the active assignments are the roles. Those are permanently assigned to the users. If you want to assign this role permanently, you can check this option. But if you want that this role should be expired after a certain duration, you can check this option. And from here, you can select the days or number of months. 
In the same way, if you want the active assignment to be removed after certain duration, you can uncheck this option and you can select the duration from here. Next option is require Azure multi-factor authentication on active assignments. If you want your users to enroll themselves for multi-factor authentication while activating a permanent role, you can check this option. And again, if you need a business justification while activating the active roles or active assignments, you can check this option as well. So once you have made the changes, you can click on next notification. I'll leave this unchecked. Let me check this one and then click next notification. Now under notifications, you can modify what sort of notifications you want to receive and to whom these notifications should be sent. Role assignment alert will be as soon as a role is assigned to a user, that notification will be sent to the administrator. Next notification to the assigned user, you can check if assignee or the end user also should receive a notification. Request to approve a role assignment, renewal, that means when role assignment renewal is approved by approver, in that case, approver will receive a notification. So like this, you can modify the notifications from here. So once you have made the changes, you can click on update. So now let me show you how an administrator can assign role to the end users or to other administrators. So we modified security reader role. Now go to roles. And here find security reader click on this role so as of now this role is not assigned to any user you can see there is no name reflecting as of now so to add a role click on add assignments from here under select members click on no member selected and from here you can select the user who has azure active directory premium p2 license assigned so in my tenant, John Smith has this license assigned Azure Active Directory Premium P2. So I'll select this user and click select. Click on next. Now from here you can define, you can specify if you want to assign just in time role or you want to assign a permanent role. If I click on active, you can see here these dates, date range is grayed out. That means this particular role will be assigned permanently. But if you want to assign just in time role or for a certain duration, click on eligible and then select date as per your requirement. For example, I'll select. Till January 1st, 2023. So once you have made the changes according to your requirement, click on assign. So the security reader role is assigned to John Smith. Now let's go to. Mailbox of administrator and here we can see we have received one notification that that says John Smith is assigned the security reader role for office 365 concepts directory this is the name of my office 365 tenant office 365 concepts so now John Smith has this role assigned now the next step is the user will log in to Azure Active Directory he will go to privileged identity management and then he will click on my roles. So here it says security reader is assigned to John Smith and he is getting an option to activate the role. So the end user will click on activate. So we can see all the options are grayed out here because it says additional verification required. Let's go back to administrator privileged identity management console and go to Azure AD roles and go to settings and here look for security reader. The role that we just assigned to this user, this one security reader. So in security reader role, we have configured Azure multi-factor authentication. That means when this user will try to activate the role, he will have to first enroll himself for multi-factor authentication. And if you will see here, the activation maximum duration we have selected is eight hours. And same we can see here. The user will not be able to modify this duration. Only administrator will be able to modify this. So click on here, click to continue. 
Now this particular user is redirected to multi-factor authentication page where he will have to enroll himself. Click on next. Let me select phone for verification method. So I have completed the enrollment process. So now you can see the activate option is not grayed out now, but it is asking me to provide a business justification. So let me enter one text. For example, activating the role. Click on activate. So this end user has successfully activated the role. Now to verify if the role is activated, you will go to active assignments. So we can see security reader is assigned and state says activated. So this particular role assignment is activated for this end user, John Smith. And if John Smith wants to deactivate the role, he can simply click on deactivate. Under expired assignments, you can see if any role particular role assignment is expired for this particular user or not. Now, as we discussed, when a user will activate the role, the administrator will receive another notification. So it says John Smith activated the security reader role for Office 365 concepts directory. So administrator will receive a notification when role is assigned, when role is activated and even if the same administrator is approver, he will also receive a notification that particular role is approved. So let's go back to privileged identity management where we are logged in with administrator account. And now let me show you how you can add approver. So go to Azure AD roles. Click on settings. And this time let's assign a different role. Let's say compliance administrator. So click on this role, go to edit. Let's select none because I do not want this user to, to be prompted for multi-factor authentication. And let's increase the duration to 15 hours. I do not want user to add business justification, but I need one approver who can approve or reject this particular role assignment request. Remember, I'm logged in with privileged role administrator. Now check this option require approval to activate, then click on no approver selected. And from here, I'll select the same administrator, click on select and then click update. So we have made these changes, go to roles and here look for compliance administrator. Go to add assignments. Select the user. We will select the same user, John Smith, and click on next. Let's add date. Let's leave it default and then click assign. So this compliance administrator role is assigned to John Smith. Let's go to end users privileged identity management console. Go to my roles. We can see compliance administrator is assigned. Click on activate. Now here you can see duration hours says 15 because while modifying the role, we selected 15 hours. So click on activate. So it says your request is pending for approval. Now let's go back to administrator account and click approve request. So we can see one request is pending here. Select this request. Now the approver can either approve the request or he can deny the request. Click on approve. Here you can give a business justification like approving the request. This is administrator. Click on confirm. Update request status. John Smith is approved. Let's go back to end user and go to privileged identity management click on my roles go to active assignments and here we can see compliance administrator role is now activated
So this is how an approver can approve the request. Now the next feature of privileged identity management that we are going to talk about is how to renew the expired roles. When a role assignment is going to expire, privileged identity management sends email notifications to the affected users and the administrators. Privileged identity management sends three email notifications. One email notification is sent before 14 days of the expiration date. Another email is sent one day prior to the expiration date. And the third email is sent when a role assignment is officially expired. So when a role assignment is going to expire or is expired already, the end user can click extend option. This option is grayed out because this role is still active. This is active till 2023. So once this role is going to expire, this extend option will be visible and a user will be able to renew the activation request from here. So again, this request will go to the administrator. Administrator will approve the request and then this request will be activated for the end user. So this is how an end user can renew the role activation once it is expired. In the next video, we will be talking about group based licensing in Azure Active Directory. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.